Princeton City Schools, no pass period, lockdown, and Alice. In previous years, Princeton City Schools lockdown for a potential shooter in the building meant classroom doors are locked, lights off, students huddle in the corner, and wait. And not anymore. Princeton has partnered with the Shanville Police Department and has trained the teachers and staff in a new and improved way to protect us during a violent incident. Lockdown. Internal and or external lockdowns will be used to secure the interior and or exterior of the facility as needed. Lockdowns will either be announced via PA and or emailed to staff. In a lockdown situation, there should be no traffic in the hallways. Students not in classrooms at the time a lockdown is announced should be moved into secure locations. Ignore the bell system and do not change classes until directed. Ongoing communication during a lockdown will be provided via PA announcement and or email. No pass period will be used as a general building management tool. A no pass period will be used and announced via PA or email to the staff. No student should be given a pass to leave class unless it's an emergency. Communication will be made via PA or email to end the no pass period. Alice, it's more than just a lockdown. It gives you options. A is for alert. L is for lockdown. I is to inform. C is to counter. And E is for evacuation. Alert. Get the word out. First call 911 and then call the office. The office will use the intercom to alert everyone. The office will use clear, concise language to convey the type and location of the event. When the lockdown button is pressed, an audible alarm will sound and the seal security doors will close. Lockdown. This is a good starting point after you have been alerted. Lockdown involves barricading the classroom door so that no one can get in. All right, class, everybody's got their books opened up to chapter two. Um, with our homework last night that we did, uh, any class discussion, anything we want to talk about um, that we read last night? What was that? What was that? Class, class, I need you to barricade the door. Barricade the door immediately. In each classroom, the following items can be found and used to assist in barricading the room. A great starting point is bookshelves, dry erase boards, podium, or chairs. Within the classroom, located close to the door, you will find your bookshelves, dry erase board, podium, and yellow go bucket. However, in a lockdown, don't forget Dim your lights, grab your yellow go bucket, and lock your door. Inform. Inform 911 in the main office of the description of the shooter, direction of travel, and anything else that would be necessary for incoming police officers. Communication keeps the shooter off balance using stimulus and swarm. Overload the shooter with noise, throw objects, and movement. Swarming techniques such as acting together to overtake the gunman. All right, class, if you would for me, please, go ahead and open up chapter two. Now, we started working on chapter two yesterday. For your homework, you were expected to read the first five pages in chapter two. We're done! We're done! <laughs> Evacuation. Reduce the number of potential targets. Escape from the building if you know the shooter is nowhere near you. The Shanville Convention Center and our football stadium were designated rally points. Remember the acronym ALICE does not have to be followed in order. There are options. Don't forget to take your emergency clipboard with you to your safe zone.